Dulu. Okay, so the story here takes place in the future. Future fingers. And, uh... And, and it's actually set around, well not around, in a huge mega city. I mean, it's big, it's pretty damn big, but it looks like crap, so it's not like, oh wow, look at that amazing looking city. No, it's really just a bunch of dirt smeared on walls and stuff. It looks like Detroit, pretty much, except worse. And it's, it's bad, it really is. And right in the middle of the city is the Hall of Justice, which is filled with judges, which are pretty much the police officers in this movie. And the main one that we, of course, are following is Judge Dredd, who is, I guess they don't really make this obvious, but I, I'm guessing he's like the best one of the force. I mean, they kind of address that a little bit later in the movie, but they're like, man, he's, he's the badass of them. He doesn't even give a damn. Some of the other judges kind of give a damn here. He doesn't. He's just like, fuck, I'm going to get a result. And he's a badass. And of course, he's played by Carl Urban in this film, like I said in the intro. And... A little bit in the movie, uh, he has to take this rookie out, played by uh, Olivia Thirlby, out to for assessment just to see how good she is. And uh, the first thing she's going to do is probably the biggest bust that the law, I mean, the Hall of Justice has ever done. Dredd and the rookie find themselves in the middle of a huge, huge building uh, owned by a woman named Mama who is, you know, she doesn't really, she's not quite fond of judges because she's a criminal and judges are not fond of criminals and criminals are not fond of judges and... You see where this is going, but she doesn't like them, so she decides, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of these two judges because she's already—they're already screwing my stuff up. I mean, they already kidnapped one of my dudes. They're harassing him. He's gonna tell them the secrets of my organization. I'm gonna lock them in here. Say it's like a big, like technical thing to the Hall of Justice, and I'm gonna kill these two judges. And that's pretty much what happens. It pretty much becomes the raid. Uh, Judge Dredd and the rookie have to go all the way up on this building and get to Mama and kill her because she's she's a bitch. She's evil. And uh, Mama is actually played by Lena Headley. I don't think I mentioned that. And this story is just like that. I mean, they go up, they kill a bunch of people, they keep going up, there's some dialogue here and there, and they kill a lot of people. <laughs> That's the story here. And I'm going to tell you right now, the writing here, I did not expect this, but I actually really like the writing here because it's not the obvious action hero 101 where Judge Dredd will randomly say one-liners just out of nowhere whenever he kills a dude, like, oh, oh, you're going to get a head in the game when he cuts a fucking dude's head off or something. No, it's not like that. It's more, it's, it's smartly written. It actually gives you some character development with some of these characters and the cliches, they come on, they go away quick. And some people won't even recognize them, really. And it's cool. I mean, the writing is decent here. And I like the storytelling because I really like the characters. Judge Dredd is a badass here. And Carl Urban, God bless you, man. Sylvester Stallone, he, he just owned you. He owned you in this. He was such a badass in this film. And all you do see is his chin, his mouth, a little bit of his nose, and some cheeks right here. You see this. Like, if I cover this, if you say, picture this, Christian Bale and Batman, that's pretty much what you see the entire film, just this, right here, and there you go, that's all you see in this entire film, and he does a great job just emoting with his chin, and he's doing this, and, and nostrils, and doing this, and yeah, he does, he does a great job, he really does, he, he is Judge Dredd, he's a badass. Uh, Olivia Thirlby, I was very surprised by her because every, day, every time I've seen her in other movies, she hasn't been all that great. But here she's actually really damn good, especially later on in the film when she pretty much becomes her own character. Because in the beginning she's the rookie, but she come, becomes much tougher later on. And the chemistry between her and Dredd is perfect. It really, really works here. And I loved it. I thought, I thought they, were, they were great on screen together. Uh, together. together. Uh, and Lena Headley also did great as well as the main villain. But she's not in as much as I thought she was going to be, which is kind of depressing because I kind of like her. I don't know. I, I like her. And she's really good in the film. Uh, the rest of the cast does a great job as well. For the most part, the acting is great. The story here is a lot of fun. Uh, the writing is surprisingly good. The action, well, oh god. Let me just say it straight up. Dread 3D is one of the most badass movies I've seen this year. And it is a huge relief to say that because I was dreading this movie. Got him. And <laughs> 
And uh, I was really dreading it because I didn't think it was going to be that good. I was like, oh, the trailer looks fun, but I don't know. And it's great. It really is. It's so much fun. The action here is bloody. It's violent. Whenever they use the slow-mo, it's perfect because it's just, it's slow-mo just to show you either a person falling off a tower just to see them fall all the way down. And it works perfectly when it happens like that. Or it's just to see bullets piercing bodies and seeing cheeks just fly and rip apart. Or someone's belly just getting bloomf and like getting, ex not exploded, but you know, like rippling and stuff. It just looks so beautiful at times with the 3D. It looks so, I mean, not the 3D, the slow-mo. It looks so, so good. And the 3D itself is actually pretty decent as well. I'm just going to say that straight up. It's actually decent. If you want to go into this... You know, shell out a couple of extra bucks for 3D. It's it's okay time with 3D. Um, and the action is just so amazing. It really is. Every time it gets to an action scene, it's so captivating, so badass. And even when there's not an action scene, the dialogue and the characters and everything they say and everything they do, it's just so much fun. There's a whole scene where, uh, because Olivia Throwby, I didn't mention this, is a psychic in the film. They explain a little bit in the film. It doesn't it doesn't just come out of nowhere. She's a psychic, and um, this whole scene, I don't even want to spoil it, but this whole scene where she used her psychic abilities against this dude they had, like, uh, they have interrogating, they're interrogating a dude and she's using a psychic powers, and it, it's so good, it's so entertaining to watch that scene. It's great, it really is. The action's great, the 3D is pretty damn good, uh, the slow-mo, whenever it's being, it's being used, which is not that much, uh, is perfect in the film. I love me some dread. I think it's perfect. I love it. It's not perfect. I'm sorry. It's perfect entertainment. If you want just to get some popcorn and have fun with a bunch of friends, invite them over. Go out to go see a movie and make sure it's dread because it's so much fun. I loved it really. I have almost no problems with it. Besides that, it's a little shorter and I would love to see more. I would have loved to see a better conclusion at the end. But for the most part, I really enjoyed it. So anyway, let's get to the rating. I will give this a 35 out of a 40. I thought it was so, so entertaining. Definitely go see Dread in 3D if you want. It's decent 3D. Whatever. There you go. There's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a little longer, I know, but I had to say it. So anyway, thank you and goodbye.